Engie has set quite an ambition target in terms of biomethane production. So now the ambition of Engie is to produce 10 terawatt hour of biomethane by 2030, not only in France, but in eight European countries. So with a larger geographical footprint, these countries being the UK, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Poland, Italy and Spain. So this morning I was in VivaTech to participate in a roundtable with Thomas Fudge, who is the CEO and founder of Waze, uh, which is a startup in which we've been invested through Engine New Ventures. At Waze we are unlocking the power of waste so we can maximise bioenergy production and biogas production by 30% at anaerobic digestion facilities and unlock a lot of wide-ranging feedstocks for industrial manufacturers. So we're working with NG to look at integrating our technology into anaerobic digesters to really maximize the amount of biogas production that they can generate in the biomethane that these facilities can produce by 30%. So we've recently closed an investment round with them and now we are working to install a pilot by the end of the year. It's important to integrate new processes and innovative processes in our own production to take advantage of their ability to innovate and to maximize the production of biomethane. So regarding waste, we know that the feedstock is definitely a key element for biomethane production and with their process, they are able to optimize the production with the same level of feedstock by taking the best of what the bacteria can do in the anaerobic digestion. Our process that we're using is called electromethanogenesis and what it is is we're using these bioelectrodes that we are integrating into an anaerobic environment. On these electrodes we grow electrically active bacteria and these bacteria as they break down organic compounds they generate electrons which they release on themselves onto the electrodes. This means that we're producing a biological current and we're using that biological current to generate hydrogen ions to convert the carbon dioxide fraction of the biogas into biomethane. So this is how we can increase yields by 30%. The participation of NG has been quite recent and we are quite keen on testing it on one of our sites, whether it is in the UK or in France, to see that we can set the good safety conditions and operational conditions to measure the performance of this solution. So we will do that in the months to come and definitely it's important for us. We know that definitely the new technologies, specifically AI and data, will be key for us in our business. Of course, at first, we can consider that the agriculture world and the tech world are quite far away. However, we see that with optimizing data and AI, we can make the best of our processes. So it's important for us to be part of this NG stand here in VivaTech. It's important for us to be at VivaTech, sharing our technology, but really communicating how green tech, clean tech solutions are there and can really accelerate the energy transition.